OK, let's go visit Malar Refugee Camp. That's the Bulkley House in Auckland in the middle of the screen. Well, it was. And we're on our way by rocket across Australia, over Southeast Asia, and into Thailand. North of Bangkok, on the borders of Myanmar. The river that we just passed was the border, and here is the Malar Camp, and that's the Bible School. The bigger of the blue roofs is the church, and the primary school, and then over to the right is the Bible School, and up behind are the homes for the handicapped and other associated buildings. We'll head back up a bit and swing round so that we're looking uh, more nearly south and a bit to the west. And then if we swoop down to get a 3D view, you can see the huge cliffy hill that raises, rises behind the camp, blocking the camp between that hill and the road. The camp's only about half a mile wide because of that hill. If I add the borders, uh, the greeny blue one is irrelevant, it's an internal Thai border. The big yellow one is the border with Myanmar. And if you look at the scale down at the bottom left, you can see that it's about three and a half kilometres from the camp. Right on the border. Heading back north-south and uh, removing the tilt from our angle of view. We'll give you a better idea of where the camp is. Right close to the border. And if I add the main road, which I'm just going to do now, You can see that the camp runs right alongside the main road, and if we zoom out, the main road runs right alongside the border. And if we head south a bit more, there in the bottom of your screen is the town of Maysot. Let's take a look at some facts and figures. If we take the distance from the camp to the town of Maysot, it's something like 50 kilometres as the crow flies. If we move up north and look at the camp itself, we first of all go past fairly inhabited country as the road winds through farms, and then into the hills, much greener looking. There's the camp. Whoops, a bit too far. Let's centre it, and let's look at the size of the camp itself. We'll need the ruler for that. Here we go. From one end to the other, the camp is just a bit under five kilometres long, and at its widest, it's something a bit under a kilometre wide. So if you calculate that with the standard sort of formulae for triangles, you'll get an area of about two square kilometres. In that two square kilometres, 40,000 registered refugees live. Or if you take the figures that people guess, something up to 70 or 80,000 people live. That's the Malar camp. Loads of people squashed together between the road and the hill.